Jeff Anderson along with Tom Larry and Josh Connick. Jeff Benjamin with you. Railers on top, 62 at 38. Railers with 20 points or more in each of the first three quarters. 21-21-20, Jeff. Railers have been incredibly consistent. They're shooting the lights out. Christian looks to make a move on the baseline and puts it up and in. 25 of 42 for the Railers shoot. They were 4 of 6 in that quarter for threes. There's the turnover. Another steal by the Railers. Jordan's going to come over. Right in and uh, Daniel for three off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound tracked down by Christian Van Hook. Nice hustle by Van Hook. Underneath the Jake on the post. He kicks it back out. You know, guys, at some point, too, the Railers or the Potter have got to think about resting some guys here. Yeah. Both, guys, both teams have two games tomorrow. Right. High post to Nathaniel spins, turns, 14 footer, rattles to it. You know, Josh, if you close, it's tough, though. You're playing so good, you don't want to fall off, but at the same time, you have to. Yeah, yeah we play in the 12 hours, roughly. It's 10, 10 o'clock now. 66 38, 7 minutes to go. Turn in the lane, jumper is up and no good from Lundin. Rebound down to Smitty one more time. They haven't done that five times a whole game. And that, I really think, I really felt the way they attack us tonight. Not that it would have done any good, we would have beat the Celtics tonight. Christian for 15, missed it off to the backside. Looks like he faded back a little bit, didn't go straight up. And no doubt we beat the Miami Heat tonight. <laughs> Boy, what was that about uh, undefeated and uh, breaking all kinds of records? Those are all his uh, muscle to get some free space and lay it up and in. 66-40. Miami just, their, their biggest problem is they don't have enough basketballs. 6.13 to go. Layers in control of this one up by 26. Daniel. As a Springfield fan, so adeptly put it last year, Jeff, they're running the weave. That's a yowl. Well, he's been doing that for a long time. Spacing's real critical here. Bars went off for three. It's good. Wow. Nelson's got a bunch of points. Jumper, that's up and good from Swinford, put on the line, he's got 13. What's the all-time points record? 46? 44. Because Bradley came close last year. Nathaniel's going to drive spin, nice move with the left hand, put it off no good, he's going to get whistled for coming over the back. Yeah, but that was a sweet move. Nathaniel whistled for his third. Man, he's really blocked. Well, with that three from Jordan, Nelson has tied his career high. And he uh, set last year down in Collinsville against Belleville Alltop. And Daniel with 18 is uh, very close to his career high, which was 22 against Normal West last year. What was Jordan? How many did he have? 31. Good defense by Christian that time. Christian and two potters go down there with it. Austin Kirby and Nathaniel Smith reach in and grab their teammate out of the scrum. And the alternating possession will keep it with Morton. Christian went down with the big boys that time, so yeah. uh, played real well tonight. Aggressive, uh, more aggressive than we've seen Christian well, last year. I, I thought uh, he's a pleasant surprise this year. Oh, yeah. He's feeling it. Inside. Uh, and uh, foul's going to be whistled from uh, the backside. I think Christian, they had him trapped under there, but Christian uh, swatted. Nope, they're going to get that one on Austin. we got to like... Uh, you have to like Christian's a girl. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, it, it definitely oh, adds another another dimension to this team that we were hoping for. Uh, and we're yes. gladly accepting. Yeah. So uh, we all talked about it last year. And how we'd see it and then we wouldn't see it. But boy, right. so far in three games, he's been very consistent this year. 69-43 as Dalton White makes the first one. Three on the evening, second one up. Out the front of the rim, no good. Christian tips it out to the little guy out there, Jake Olsen with the board. Jake's the right place at the right time. Still counts as a rebound. Nelson on the right wing. Down in the corner to Van Hook. Kirby pops out, moves around left side to Olsen. Great spacing here. Rims really have to go all the way around. Under five minutes to go. Nathaniel makes a move, hands off to Kirby. Christian high post. Now the Rams look to take a little air out of it. One would hope Morton doesn't resort to fouling on every possession. This game is clearly over. Nelson's three. Up and good. Man, let's hope we're not shooting, our, shooting all our threes for the rest of the season tonight. Career high for Jordan Nelson now with 34. Kirby Van Hook 
Smith. And oh. there's a block. Christian Funny had a block, but they're going to get a foul called. Looks like a salt chip. <laughs> Christian and Nathaniel were not going to give up a, a layup there to uh, this thing. Foul's going to be well done. Oh, man. 
drop to Olsen. Over now to Austin Kirby. Hayes to Van Hook. Christian top. He's going to go down the lane. Oh, this will layup. Oh, ball loose. Tip down. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds. I think Cruz the last one to touch it. Uh, Raylor's going to go back to work. Bang, the referees eat their whistles, and they ought to, but bang. Mark. Streeter on the left side to Cole Brunton. Sipped away by Hayes. Hayes bounces it over to Olsen. Get it back to Christian. Lays it up and in. Christian with eight. Minute and a half to go. Railers up 79 52. Yeah, guys, and real quick, you know, there's another guy that are on the bench that aren't going to get a chance to get in. And the reason that they're fresh from the sophomore is that there is a, there is a tournament regulation. You can only play three tournaments as a sophomore and two tournaments, I believe, as a freshman. So coach doesn't want to use those tournaments up in something like this. Yeah. So they're going to get a lot more playing time experience at the sophomore and freshman level. So uh, great experience for these guys, although they can't quite get in in this tournament. Right. But we've seen that over the years right. uh, with most of our freshman sophomores. You go, why are they playing? It's just, it's just to preserve minutes. Yeah. yeah. Especially late in the year, you want them in a big tournament. Under a minute to go. Hayes to Van Hook. Well, somebody needs to score to make Josh and I look good. Not that anything well, will be look more, good. Yeah, we need a lot more than scoring Thank to do you. that. <laughs> Streeter with his first foul. Austin Kirby will step to the line. Okay, Austin, the pressure is on. Austin Kirby in the line for the rail. Free throw up. And good. You know, these kind of games are kind of deflating for the officials, Jeff. We used to do and know who was playing. We knew what it meant. What it meant. You gear up for a big game and then you get a blowout. <laughs> Second one rattles out, no good. Olsen fighting for the rebound. It's going to go to Morton. But just think as an official, you referee 50 games a year and 40 of them are bl uh, blowout, kind of boring games. You want the big games. They're interesting. Morton quickly into the front court. Nice hands by Andy Cruz, knocking it out of bounds. Andy Sussman out there. As is every railer, or they're not out there. Approaching 30 seconds. 80, 52, Railers on top. Bottom out to three, nice defense by Hayes, covers up, and then a bad pass, it'll be a turnover. And that's one thing that Morton has done better than anything tonight, is turn it over and give the Railers opportunities. Yeah, they only have five turnovers in the second half, but uh, the 12 in the first half set the tone for them losing by 28. 19 seconds to go. You got a feeling the last four fouls. That's going to be our final score of 80-52 because I don't think anybody's going to file it up for Lincoln. But the penalty of death. 